Hello and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing okay. Stuff is so crazy right now, so I hope you all are safe during this like super weird time. Today my video is gonna be about something that was requested of me through my Instagram story, and that is eco-friendly and human-friendly candles. So stay tuned. Ooh, Leah, what you got? I'll be looking at my notes because I have a lot to say on this topic. But basically over the past two months or so, I've been researching these two brands called Bear Candle Company and Patty Wax Candles. I was sort of testing how I felt about them, you know, like letting them burn, smelling them, seeing how long they burn for, and just seeing how they made me feel overall. So before I get into Patty Wax and Bear, I actually want to go into why it's important to care about what is in your candles. A lot of people just kind of write it off as, okay, like they know that the candles are not great for them, but because they don't burn them super often or that they're not inhaling it like in copious amounts, they think that it's not really going to do much damage to you, which is unfortunately incorrect. If you aren't aware of the harmful side effects of the regular candles that you buy at Bath & Body Works and Amazon and stuff like this, the regular normal candles, they can actually be really detrimental to your health. Most candles are made of something called paraffin wax, which is a petroleum byproduct, which is basically just petroleum waste, which is like plastic waste, that is then chemically bleached and deodorized to make wax. So you're sniffing like petroleum that's been bleached. The paraffin wax releases toxic volatile organic compounds, which are also known as VOCs. And these VOCs include acetone, benzene, and toluene, which are also carcinogens. And these are known to cause headaches, allergies, asthma attacks, and skin problems. And these are the same chemicals that are found in diesel and fuel emissions. So just take a second to absorb that, that like that's what we're willingly putting into our lungs while we're breathing like these regular like store-bought candles. The crazy thing is these candles can even be harmful to you when they're not lit at room temperature the paraffin wax can still be toxic to you. My mom used to have like a full pantry full of just like candles from Bath & Body Works. We all loved it. But the thing that's actually interesting is that if those candles had paraffin wax in them, that could actually be infecting the entire room with these harmful carcinogens that are bad for your health. So even if you don't use the candles very often, they are still harming you by just being in your room. The wax actually also produces soot when combined with particles in the air, which can actually penetrate deep into your lungs and can activate and actually be absorbed by your bloodstream. From there, it can cause respiratory diseases, heart attacks, strokes, and even cancer. That's not even all. Like, that's just the wax. But the next thing about popular candles that most people buy are the chemical fragrances. If you're not using fragrances that are natural, they most likely will have VOCs in them. These VOCs include formaldehyde, petroleum distillates, and some other words I can't pronounce that I'll put on the screen here. But basically they can cause headaches, dizziness, allergy symptoms, asthma, respiratory tract infections, and again, cancer. So those are two items in these candles that were already increase your chances of cancer. The last thing about paraffin wax candles are the cord wicks. Now cord wicks are basically the metal stand that the cotton wick is wrapped around or braided around to keep the wick standing up while the wax is melting basically to give it some structure and not to have it like go limp or whatever the core wicks used to be made out of lead once 2003 hit america banned lead cores in candles obviously because lead is poisonous and it shouldn't have ever been in candles they now use zinc and tin as opposed to lead in the metal cores which is better but still super harmful because all metals leave trace amounts of heavy metals in the air when burned so it doesn't matter what metal you use, there will still be metal in your air, which is bad for your lungs. And all cores can still have trace amounts of lead particles. So at that point, it doesn't matter what type of metal cores you have, as long as they're metal, you might still be getting some sort of lead in your air. Or you could just get better candles. You could stop buying those crappy candles that are not good for you, that are everywhere, and get something that's a little bit better for yourself and for the environment. So today, I'm gonna go over two brands that are focused on environmentally friendly and human-friendly candles and tell you what I think about them. So, Starting off, Bear Candles. Bear Candles is a woman-owned, small batch, homemade candle company that advertises itself as a locally sourced and environmentally conscious brand. On the website, they promise to never carry any paraffin wax or any other type of things that I can't pronounce <laughs> or any sort of dyes at all. Bear was actually also founded by a college student, which is super cool, I think, and ensures that all candles have a cotton wicks and are entirely made out of soy wax. They're sold in these vegan-friendly, like reusable amber jars, and the owner of Bear actually recommends that you plant your own succulent in the jars after you're done with them, which is super cool. I appreciate that. And they also claim to have eco-friendly, tree-free labels, which I'm assuming means that their labels are like made out of recycled materials, maybe. I'm not sure what that means. So overall, after just looking into what Bear is about, I would give them an A plus for their mission statement, for the fact that it's vegan, for the reusable amber jars, full soy wax candles, all cotton wicks, like that just sounds amazing to me. So already 
A plus. Packaging. When I got the package, I didn't actually record myself opening it because I was so excited, but I actually have the box here and it was super minimalistic. It was just like a simple box. I ordered two candles, opened it up, and they were in there. I think the candles themselves came in like smaller, thinner boxes just to make sure that they weren't like jostled around or anything. But they also had this recycled paper packaging, which basically kept it secure. And it was very minimalistic and I actually really appreciate that as far as environmentalism goes. They also included this handwritten card with the purchase, which basically just says thank you for giving us a try. And it's written by somebody over there, which I thought was super cute and gave it like a really nice personal touch that I really enjoyed actually. So that was cool. A plus for packaging as well. Fair so far. So as far as the size and the price, I think the sizing was spot on for the price. I think it actually was a steal. I paid $18 for a 55 hour burning candle. And if you wanna see like in, in relation to my face, this is their cranberry and spice and it's their largest size. As you can see, I'm pretty much already done with it. Like I've had it for at least a month, at least a month or so. And I burn them pretty frequently, maybe three, four times a week I've burnt the two. Near the end for both of them, this is the other one here. Like I'm close to the end for both of them. They've lasted for a pretty long time. I've also went back and checked the website a few times since buying it and it does seem like they frequently have sales. So I think that's also really cool. They also seem to have a good selection of like wintry smells, fall smells, and then regular everyday smells like the um, like the fresh type scents and then the citrus scents and all that stuff. Like they have a good selection. It's not an amazing selection, but it's enough for me. Like I definitely don't, that's enough for me. <laughs> as far as the size and price, for my purchase of two $18 candles, they threw in a free tea light, which is perfect because I've been meaning to find something to put into my Goddess Provisions tea light shadow caster. I didn't have a tea light yet. And this little tea light that they gave me was completely free. I bought two fall scents and they gave me a winter scent, I guess, just to kind of like stay ahead and encourage me to buy a winter scent. And this is the Christmas tree one. And it, and it smells really good. I'll get into that later, but it smells really good. But it fits perfectly in the Goddess Provisions shadow caster. So as far as the size and pricing for everything, I think Bear is again an A. They gave me the free little gift. They, I think the $18 for this big of a jar is pretty good. And the fact that it's reusable is awesome. And this actually would be a cool jar to have a succulent in. It's not too small like a lot of other succulent jars are. I guess I wouldn't give it an A plus because the variety is a little bit limited. But again, I think it's also fine for the average user. Like it's not like a crazy amount of scents, but it's enough to get you started and it's enough to get you checking in every few months to see what they have that's new. So, so far, Bear is still at an A. As far as scents, these candles smell so good. Like. They smell so good. I'm so used to Bed Bath & Body Works where their candles are super strong, super in your face and really cheap. Not really cheap, but like they're, they're kind of cheapish. But these, you can tell that they're kind of like sort of high quality, like I don't know how to explain it. The first scent that I got was this Cranberry and Spice one and I'll show you close up and I'll probably show you me burning it and stuff like that. I think it kind of smells like um, like hot apple cider and it sort of like has that crispness of fall. Like it's very, it's very good at smelling folly and it's kind of tart too. So I like that it's not like super, super sweet. On the website, they claim that it is a sweet cranberry sauce highlighted with notes of orange peel and cinnamon apples spiced with clove, which I could probably smell. I think that's why I think it smells like an apple tart or something. But I love putting this on while I'm working because for some reason it helps me focus. Um, just like kind of like that that spicy, crisp sort of scent is just very good and it kind of just fills the air and makes you think of like fall. So I like that one a lot. The second one that I got is their pumpkin and vanilla, which is a super like cozy and sweet smelling. Like it smells so like I just want to hug somebody like oh my goodness. This definitely kind of reminds me of like a lip gloss that I used to have as a kid, but not like in like a cheaper perfumey type of way, but like in a kind of reminiscent, I don't really even know how to explain it, but I love the way this smells. And it kind of makes me feel sort of like safe when I smell it, I don't know. But according to the website, they say it is a sweet spiced pumpkin and warm buttery vanilla combined with a nostalgic fall scent, which is spot on because before I even read that, I thought it smelled nostalgic. I don't know why. I don't know if like all girls just have like that lip gloss and they just like put that scent in here, but I don't know exactly what it is, but I love their pumpkin and vanilla. It is so nice. I also think that if you were to buy two scents from them, you probably wouldn't buy fall anymore because fall is pretty much over. But if you were to, having these together, I think was a really good idea because the tartness of the cranberry spice kind of like contrasts from how sweet this one smells. So I kind of have like a scent for different moods. If I feel a little bit sweeter, I can put on the pumpkin spice one. And if I feel 
little bit like, you know, tartar or wanting something that's a little bit sharper for fall, I have the cranberry one. So I think that's a really cool way that they kind of play on each other. Uh, lastly, they added in the Christmas tree scent and I didn't actually write a full review on it because I did not buy it. They just kind of sent it to me. But it kind of smells like, um, like, I don't know, like bells. <laughs> I know bells don't have a scent, but like, and like cedar. I think if I were to light this, it'd smell like a forest. I haven't actually lit it yet because it's so cute. And I just really appreciated that they sent it. So for some reason, I haven't had the urge to burn it and get rid of it yet. But um, it does smell really, really nice. I would look into getting a Christmas tree scent from them if I felt like I had enough burning time to use it because I bought a Christmas scent from Patty Wax, which I'll be going into next. But before I go into that, I'm gonna go over my overall verdict for Bear. I actually love Bear. I love the packaging. I love the branding. I love the story of the company. I love the scent. I love the cost for the scents, like the amount that you get. I like the fact that the pot that they come in is super usable for anything it doesn't have to be succulent you could be holding tea in here it could be anything it's super super rich about so i love that about them you're basically getting two products honestly like if they had a subscription service i would definitely be signed up with them to get candles from them every month like i absolutely am in love with bear and i want more immediately <laughs> So overall, A plus for Bear. I'm super in love and I will definitely be getting more and probably giving you guys more reviews from Bear in the future. So at this point, before I move on, I want to let you guys know I do have a blog where I go over unboxings and relationship tips and general college life vlogs. Please go check that out if you're interested. I put so much work into there. I also have a Tumblr where I talk about uh, long distance relationships and stuff and sustainability and sustainable type unboxings as well. And lastly, on my Instagram, I post pretty much every day and every few days I have an LDR tip for those of you that are in LDRs and I have a regular relationship tip for those of you that are in relationships. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, go check me out. I'm on social media pretty much everywhere. So yeah, okay, back to the video. The next place that I shopped at was Patty Wax. Patty Wax says that they have soy wax and themed candles, so they have different types of candle lines. Some of their candles have paraffin wax, but they claim to be free of formaldehyde and other animal source ingredients and other dyes. I'm sort of hesitant when I hear that because knowing how bad paraffin wax is for you, that doesn't sound great that they still sort of use it, but knowing that they're making it free of certain stuff is also really good. They said that they are hand poured candles using cotton or wood wicks. They have non toxic fragrance oils, and the soy is sourced in US farms which is also super cool it is a much bigger company than bear so there's way 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 more variety like basically if you're used to shopping at bed bath and body works bed bath and beyond bath and body works that one <laughs> ever used to shopping at bath and body works patty wax is probably going to be the easiest transition for you because they have so many different scents and so many different lines and different colors and looks and it's very much like a bigger corporation so if you were unsure about bear patty wax is probably the place that you would you know switch over to if you wanted a cleaner and healthier candle for you this being said they definitely kind of lack the personal touch i'll get into packaging in a second but patty wax isn't the type of company to necessarily give you a handwritten note mostly like i said because are bigger they have way more orders to push out it's not like a college student and her friends running their own business it's like a full-on corporation doing their thing so obviously you're probably not going to get a handwritten note in your package i would give patty wax so far a b plus a minus for learning about their company i love how it's hand poured soy wax that's sourced in the u.s but i don't love so much that there is still paraffin wax being used in some of their candles i think that i also like the candle variety and how fun they are so that's also like a big plus but really the biggest minus is just knowing that there's still paraffin wax in there but it just go full soy and I'm kind of wondering why like if you go half soy why not just go full soy but I, I say like a minus for me in my opinion okay let's get into the packaging so for reference these are the candles I bought I bought this I guess it's like a votive candle and then these two smaller candles from their library line and this is the box I've been holding it in for this video basically they can put it in here no issue right the amount of packaging that this company gave me was so horrendous. Like the box that they gave me was like my half of my size. Like we couldn't fit it into my outdoor dumpster how much packaging they gave me for these three tiny candles. It was absolutely insane. I hope I saw the video because I actually recorded myself after I opened it and how much boxes and how huge the boxes were for these tiny candles. Like I was actually surprised. My whole family was surprised. It was so bad that I felt guilty for buying from them. I felt like, oh my gosh, they just used so much stuff to send me these three candles. Look what I did. You know what I mean? And the customers should never feel that way. It's not our fault that the company is packaging them in that way. It was terrible. It was absolutely terrible. But to look at the pros of the packaging, they did throw in a coupon. I think it was like a 10% off coupon somewhere in the box. So 
there's that. But honestly, the coupon didn't matter because I wasn't about to, at that moment, I didn't want to buy from them ever again because that was so much waste. So F for packaging. So like, it was, it was so bad. It was incredibly terrible. Moving on though price and size. So like I said, Patty Wax is a bigger company, so they can afford to price things a little bit cheaper than Bear, who is just like basically like a startup company. So I got a 10 ounce candle for $20, which is super cool because from Bear, they sell a seven ounce candle for 18. So basically for three more ounces for three more bucks, sort of. So like, I guess it's sort of equal, but at the same time, I felt like it wasn't because the amount of burn time you get, I think it goes up a little bit with the amount of ounces you have. So I thought that it was a little bit like cheaper in the long run, but my math could be completely off. Don't at me, I'm a film major, not a math major. This one, for example, is a 10 ounce, $20 candle. I got it in the scent, mistletoe and mint. It's supposed to be their fun take on prayer candles. So it's actually like this longer candle and you can probably reuse the glass case that it's in. I'm not sure what you'd use it for though. It's not like it's super reusable, like the amber case that the bear candle comes in. As far as price again, I also bought the library edition candles, which aren't Christmassy scented or anything. They're just like regular scented candles, but they smell like famous, I got Jane Austen and Edgar Allan Poe kind of as a joke, but I actually like the way that it looks. It looks kind of unique. Um, you definitely wouldn't see something like this, I think, at a Bed Bath & Beyond. Oh my gosh. I mean, Bath & Body Works, I always confuse those two. And I actually like it. When you open it, you get uh, two wicks. And it's really cute. I got one of these for $12 and it's only 2.5 ounces, which I actually think is kind of incredibly expensive for what it is. I can say that like it's probably more expensive because it's part of their like specific library line. It's not like a regular candle, it's like a specialty item. But to think that I paid like 20 bucks for five ounces and this is 20 bucks for 10 ounces, it's like... Yeah, so like on one hand, the price is great. Other hand, the price is terrible. So take that what you will. Overall, for size and price, I'll give Patty Wax an A. I actually like the price of this mistletoe and mint. I thought it was a deal. I did not like the price of this. Maybe I should give it a B. I don't know, I'm not gonna give it a B because I understand these are specialty candles. So yeah, I'm, I'll keep it at A, but it's a very tentative A. It's like an A, B, maybe A minus. I'm not sure yet, but these were kind of overpriced but I think this was spot on. Okay, now the scent, everyone's favorite part. Um, the mistletoe and mint, I wanna eat it. It smells like snow and ice and like walking home from school and sludge, but like not like the dirty gross sludge, but like the nice swishy sludge. I really, really like this scent. I think this smells more like a Christmas tree than Bear's Christmas tree scent, even though this isn't Christmas tree, it's mistletoe and mint. Yeah, this one smells more Christmassy, but this one smells more tree-y. I don't know, I don't know if I'm coming off as clear, but that's what that smells like to me. According to the website, this mistletoe mint scent says it has top notes of fresh mountain air cord, iced citron, pomelo peel, middle tones of Monterey pine notes, sequoia needles, and red geranium, and base notes of forest moss, red cedar wood, and ebony wood. So definitely from what they're saying, there's more tree elements in this one than probably in this one. So that's probably why it smells like tree, but I love this. Like this smells super Christmassy. I'd recommend it entirely. Next one would be Jane Austen. I felt really weird like buying a candle that's supposed to smell like someone. Like I thought like, Okay, that's kind of like stalker status. But at the same time, I thought it was super cute. Um, it kind of looked like it was like a book or something. It had their name in it. Sort of like in middle school when you had to borrow a book from the library, like you'd put your name in the front little area and everything. It looks like that. And I thought it was really cute how you could open it. And it's sort of like this book that opened and it has these two wicks. So when you first smell it, it smells really, really strong. <laughs> <laughs> it it kind of knock you out. It's kind of super strong. But once you light it, it's not that strong at all. It's actually a lot lighter. It kind of smells like you're in a field full of flowers or like you're by a waterfall in a meadow or there's something whimsical and like magical or something. It's actually really nice and it makes me feel kind of happy. From the website, they say that their top notes are citrus zest, sparkling aldehydes, coconut water. The middle notes are white gardenia, jasmine petals, and pink peony. The base notes are muget, muget, rosewood, sheer spices, and leafy greens. So definitely flowery, green, you know, meadowy. I could see how Jane Austen smells like this. So I think that was a cool buy. Um, the last one I bought from Patty Wax was Edgar Allan Poe, which was super interesting because I remember reading him in like middle school and high school, his poems and stuff where he was murdering people. So I was wondering what they would assume that he smelled like. And actually it smells really musky, but like with a hint of sweetness, kind of like sandalwood. It was kind of sexy, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's kind of nice. <laughs> 
I would not mind if my boyfriend wore this. this. This actually smells kind of attractive, which is super interesting considering Eddie Rallon Poe. I never would have assumed that from his writing, so I'm not really sure where they got that from. It also kind of smells vaguely of fruit, so there's that. The website says the top notes are nutmeg, eucalyptus, cinnamon leaf, dewy greens. Middle notes are golden apple, red pear, patchouli, vanilla bean, and base notes of smoked cedar, spice musk, and creamy sandalwood. So yeah, in there, the golden apple and the red pear, I can definitely smell some fruitiness in there for whatever reason, but this... Uh, overall, for the scents of the candle, Patty Wax is an A for scents. These smell awesome. So overall verdict of Patty Wax in general, I love the candles. They smelled amazing, and I'm super excited to buy more. The variety on the site gets me really excited, even though, as I said before, Bear has enough variety for me. I don't need anything more. Patty Wax gives me so many options, like these different colors and these different cases and these different bowls, and they have different wick styles, and it's just so exciting and I just want to buy more and spend more money on them which is probably what they want. I think it's also a really cool option to be able to drop Bath & Body Works completely, move over to Patty Wax because they are better for you in the environment. I would prefer for all of their candles to be soy based and not to have a mix of paraffin and soy. I would like to know that if I'm making a switch from paraffin wax that I'm actually making a full on switch and not like a half switch. Even though I know they say that their paraffin wax is safer, I would just prefer to not have to worry about it at all. So that is one downside. The packaging was terrible. <laughs> I hope that was like a one-time thing. Maybe they ran out of boxes that were the right size for me. I don't know, but the packaging was the worst. If they were to fix the packaging, this would be an A plus store and I'd recommend it to everybody, but the packaging was just so bad. And since I don't, I'm not sure if it was a one case scenario, I can't recommend it fully. And also the pricing was good on some items, but I think it was also excessively high on others. Overall verdict on Patty Wax, I'd give it a B. So final thoughts, just because I gave Bear an A and Patty Wax a B, it doesn't necessarily mean I like Bear better. I don't I don't know if I would say that yet. I'd have to try out more things and have more time with both companies. But I think I like them for different reasons. I like how I can always get a Patty Wax for something new and interesting and the design's different and there's some there's things that are fun. Like I never would have thought of candles that smell like authors. Like who thinks of that? Like that's interesting. And for Bear, I feel like they're kind of like more reliable. Always cotton, always soy. Flavors and scents that you know of that you can probably go to and know that they're gonna be good and they're high quality hand poured. You know what I mean? Like they're just for different feelings, I think. And I like them both for their separate things. Overall, I do wish that Patty Wax was a little bit more environmentally aware with their packaging. Bear had that spot on with the minimal packaging and the little note in the package, but Patty Wax is miles away from where they should be, especially being a huge company. They could afford to be a little bit more conscientious of their environmental impact. So I do wish that they thought more about that. But that is all I have to say about this entire topic. I'm sorry if this was long. I had a lot of fun trying out these candles. Let me know if there's any brands that you guys have heard of or any scents that you want me to try and I will be happy to go and buy them and try them out and tell you guys what I think about them. But yeah, thank you for watching this video and let me know what you thought. The like button if you liked it and I'll see you next time. Bye!